Today I'm going to be talking about an agent I created to solve uh, a Ravine's progressive matrix problem. Uh, basically, we have a couple of Ravine's figures. So we have A, B, C, and we're given a set of possible answers. And the agent is supposed to look at this figures, A, B, C, and through that, come up with an answer from the set of uh, given uh, uh, candidates here. So how do we represent this knowledge? Uh, the way you represent your knowledge is actually going to determine how well your agent is going to do. In my case, I represent the knowledge using a graph. So my graph looks something like this. Uh, when I run my query to check. So my graph looks something like this. And you can see that I have a couple of Ravens figures. So all the red nodes are Ravens figure. So I have A, B, C, one through six. And I have Ravens, Ravens objects too. So each Ravens object belongs to a Ravens figure. And the idea is uh, to, to create a connection between the Ravens objects to the Ravens figure, which is why I have an edge pointing from a Ravens object to a Ravens figure. Now when I select the Ravens object, you can actually see its properties. For example, I have a size, shape, fill, and the name. The name doesn't really matter in this in this uh, uh, topic, actually. So I have B, which also has its own properties, and each Ravens object could actually relate to other ones. So for example, A relates to C, uh, because when you look at, when you take a look at this image, I'm um, trying to actually compare the circle here to the circle here, the cross here to the cross here. I wouldn't want to compare the circle to the cross because that's going to give me very different results. However, maybe later on I might have to do that when I'm solving much more complex problems. However, in this case, I'm not doing that. So, when you see, uh, so from one Ravens object to another, there's a connection between them which gives me a relate to. And when I select that, the edge tells me what transition has happened between them. In this case, the shape isn't changed, the size isn't changed, the feel isn't changed. Uh, so using these connections, I'm able to tell actually, you know, what to look for in the in the answer. So what what I did is basically look at A, B, and C. Look at how they relate to one another, and through that, I um, my agent creates another object here, and from there, it compares that to all the results here and gets the one with the highest match. So I'm just gonna go through uh, each of the questions and from there, look at how well the agent did. So I'm gonna run this over again. And uh, for problem number one, uh, it gives the answer two, which is correct. For problem number two, uh, it gives the answer five, uh, which is the correct one. And you can see there's a rating for, or there's a, there's a score for each of the answers. So number one has a score of 5.0, which kind of, I guess, makes sense relatively. Uh, number two has a score of 6.0. You can see that there's a circle, there's a cross, the cross is just turned. Uh, number three has a lower score because it's a circle and there's a circle in it. Uh, number four has 6.0. Uh, the square is there, uh, which is just a shape that's changed, uh, but it still has that cross there. And number five is the exact match. It has a very high score. Uh, number six has a much lower score. It's a square and a circle. So let's take a look at number three. Number three, uh, it says number one is the answer, uh, which is correct. Number four, uh, the answer for four is three. Yep, it's right. Answer for five, uh, solving problem five is four, which is correct. Uh, for number six, five, uh, which is correct. For number seven, Gives six, which is correct. Number eight, uh, six, which is correct. Number nine, um, five, which is correct. Number 10, 
Uh, number 10, 5. Uh, so 5 is actually wrong. So this is where the agent has a problem because um, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm going to look more look, look into this. But it's actually close to the answer because the difference here is basically uh, we have a circle and then the other circle changes into um, a small square. And I think it tries to replicate that. So we have the circle, the other circle changes into a small square, but uh, it's not adding this one in there. Uh, so anyway, uh, so number 12. Oh, so number 11, rather. So for number 11, uh, 1. And 1 is the correct answer. And number 12 uh, says 1. And uh, one is the correct answer. Anyway, so that's it for uh, this project. Next up, I'm going to be solving basic problem C, C, which is a three by three matrix. So it looks something like this, a little bit more complex. And then uh, later on, maybe I would actually um, try to challenge problems, which are this ones here. So they're a little bit much more difficult and uh, have to make the agent, I guess, a little bit smarter and see what it comes up with. Anyway, thanks for watching.